Live from downtown New Haven in the News 8 studio, this is Lighting Up the Holidays. Sponsored by Connecticut Vascular Center, the Connecticut Lottery, and Q Gardens. Tis the season to rejoice with family, friends, and fun. Connecticut, it, ha it has its own sort of beauty to it and its own sort of majesty. From carriage rides through the city. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. To shopping on local street corners. I kind of feel like we have to carry on this tradition for people to come here. And sounds of the season with voices both young and old. It's is lighting up the holidays. Good evening and welcome to this special holiday edition of News 8. We have a great show for you tonight, including a lot of fun family activities being offered around the state, like gingerbread making classes, the Nutcracker Ballet, and even horse-drawn carriage rides. We're also taking a behind-the-scenes look at some new Christmas movies and a television show filmed here. Also, we can't forget about some of the best places to shop for gifts around Connecticut. Love that. Yeah. But first, let's kick things off with News 8's Ann Craig and Joe Fury, live on the New Haven Green, where the city's Christmas tree will be lit in just a little while. Take it away. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. It will truly feel like the holidays once we light up the New Haven Christmas tree. This is just an amazing evening. The electricity out here, everybody's having a great time. It feels really nice out here. It Andy. feels so nice out here. We don't even need gloves or hat or no, scarves. I mean, this weather's no fantastic. And, you know, the only thing we're missing right now is a little snow. We could use a little snow. Well, not tonight. Yeah, yeah, not tonight, <laughs> no, but, but it would make it a little more festive. And a lot of people dream of a white Christmas, so when are we going to see some snow? Well, you Joe? know what? we got a changing weather pattern coming up, so let's talk about, you know, what, what the probabilities are as far as white Christmases are across uh, the state of Connecticut. And you can see, obviously, you get up on the hills, you have a much a better chance that you're going to have a white Christmas, much less of a chance as you get down towards the shoreline. But I will tell you, with this weather pattern that's setting up right now, and uh, yeah, the probability of a, of a white Christmas is greatly increasing even though it's Ooh. so nice at the moment uh, as far as snowfall goes obviously the shoreline usually gets the least amount of snow 20 to 30 inches and then there are some places in the hills there you can see 70 plus inches uh, we do have a weather pattern that's changing now uh, we're looking for some much colder air to start to come down from the north uh, as we go on for the end of next week so this time next week everything will start to change the wind will start to blow the temperature will drop and there are signs of some snow in the forecast late next week. So, That's kind of exciting. Yeah, and I, everybody, you know, everybody we talk to talks about the fact, give me some snow for Christmas. You right. don't want it the rest of the season, but, right. but for Christmas season, it would be great. Well, I want to give people an idea of where we are on the New Haven Green, because the tree is right behind us. Of course, it's dark right now, so it might be a little tough to see, but take a look between Joe and I. Right there to the right of the flagpole is the Christmas tree. It's about 72 feet tall. We're going to light it up with 30,000 lights. That's going to happen just around 726. Not to be too specific. And there's somebody out here who's having just a wonderful time. He's been out here for the last few hours. He's been going around uh, and meeting people and uh, having a ball. And uh, we're going to toss to our own Ryan Christopher right now. Ryan, where are you on the green? And who do you got with you? Guys, we're having so much fun over here. We're Christmas caroling. We're having a good old time. And we actually made this handmade DIY Christmas sweater. So I hope you're wearing yours at home. These guys just won't stop singing. It's such a fun event tonight. All right, all right. How many people here, say, how many people have been coming here to the tree lighting for at least five years? Make some noise. How about 10 years? That's you, miss. As we like to say, it's lit over here. Tell, tell me what you like best about the tree lighting. Um, friends, family, and children, and everybody out enjoying themselves for the holidays. That's what it's really all about here in New Haven. It's all about family fun, and that's what we're bringing you here tonight. So, Spider-Man, do, do you know what you want for Christmas? I want a Star Wars Nerf one for Christmas and a Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's what I wanted, the Nintendo Switch. All right, and we have a Yankee fan over here. High five. Go Yankees, go Yankees. Now, what are you guys most excited about for Christmas? I'm excited about Christmas because you get your family comes 
and you get presents and toys. Yeah, we all love presents and toys, and it's all about the family, guys. Let's sing it back one more time to them back here in the studio. Here we go. Ha oh, okay. Jingle Bells. Okay. No, oh, no, which one? Let's do Have a Holly, Holly Christmas. It's the best time <laughs> of the year. I am jealous of his sweater. Yeah, we forget the I word. love that. Really? The DIY, he, DIY and the ornaments hanging off of it. He could make you one. I think he could. Yeah, I might try that. Yeah. Well, shopping is something we all end up doing this time of year, and we have some great spots in Connecticut. We really do. News 8, Sarah Cody live at the shops at Yale in New Haven with some special guests tonight. Sarah. Hey, happy holidays, guys. I'm here with Dave and Natasha representing the shops at Yale. Dave, this area is about to become a winter wonderland. Tell me about all the events on tap. Yes, we have a ton of free events. They're, they're all open to the public. Um, we have ice carving demonstrations, including one with Yale's Handsome Dan this Sunday from 1 to 3 right in front of Wave Gallery. We have uh, free horse and carriage rides this Sunday from noon to 4. Um, Pickup locations are on Chapel Street and Elm across from Gantt. We have um, laser light shows on Broadway Island across from Apple. And we have um, a $500 giveaway, uh, one per week for okay. five weeks. So there's a ton of things going on. It all sounds great. And I need to hear about the hot shops, the new shops, and the new restaurants. Yes, Patagonia New Haven just opened um, about a month ago on Broadway. Love Patagonia. Yeah, they're oh, awesome. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I already bought a jacket. Yeah. Um, Dwell New Haven, uh, our newest gift shop, just opened about uh, two weeks ago. And Midpoint Istanbul, our newest restaurant uh, serving Mediterranean, yeah. modern Mediterranean, uh, okay. open right behind Pacifica. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Natasha, what are the advantages for people to come down here and take advantage of all this? So, Sarah, we have free four-hour parking at our three surf uh, surface parking lots. Uh, there's one on Chapel Street, York, and Broadway. You can enter to a chance to win one out of five $500 shopping and dining packages, as David mentioned. And we actually just uh, picked our first winner, so we have four more left. And then all our events are open and free to the public. And, you know, it's the best way to get into the holiday spirit here. We have Yuletide carolers. We have outdoor performances. And we have beautiful stores decorated, um, as you can see. And then for more information, uh, you, as David mentioned, you can visit theshopsale.com to learn about our events and our free parking. All right. Well, that's great. Coming up, we're going to have a performance from the Yale Alley Cats. Guys in the studio, back to you. All right, thanks so much. We have much more ahead, including the New Haven Ballet gearing up for the Nutcracker, of course, and a Connecticut artist being featured on a White House Christmas tree. Yeah, as we head to break tonight, our News 8 family sharing some of our favorite holiday traditions here in Connecticut, plus sounds from the great Trinity Church Choir. One tradition that brings back happy memories as a kid is we used to pile the family together in the car and go through the fantasy of lights. It was so much fun. And one tradition we continue as adults is the Saturday before Christmas each year is our family cookie baking day. It gets the ladies together and we make all kinds of cookies each year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish 